So last time we were looking at this expression. This is an example of some function of two variables. It doesn't really matter what it does, but for our purposes it's a good example uh, that we can start with. And we want to look at uh, how to simplify this expression, uh, how to make it a little bit easier. We already know that it's not as simple as it can be because it's not one of those 16 functions. Um, there are some rules about simplification we can decide on together uh, that may or may not make the simplification easier. First rule uh, is what are you simplifying towards, right? This, uh, in, in other words, what are, your, uh, what are your raw materials? What are your supplies that you can use to build the circuits that will implement these functions? Well, if you can do it with anything, um, then we want to figure out what the simplest um, representation is using all available gates. Again, we, a few videos ago we saw we had uh, seven, I think, or eight, if we counted the buffer or not, different kinds of gates, and or not, exclusive or, exclusive nor, etc. That's fine, but exclusive OR gates, exclusive NOR gates, those are a little bit more complicated. Sometimes we want to build a device that only uses the smallest number of types of gates as well. Now there's a rule that says that if you have AND, OR, and NOT, then you can build anything. So one of the things we could do is we could say, I only want to use AND, OR, and NOT. Then, if we're going to do that, we're going to take this and simplify based on AND, OR, and NOT. Uh, if we allow other gates, then we might be able to make this simpler by using one of those gates. For example, this, if we look at the truth table, that's one way that we can simplify. There's lots of different techniques. If we look at the truth table for this function, here's A and B and here's F. Again, the truth tables are always going to be annotated using uh, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. These are the four possibilities that you can get, and this is uh, the different options. So what we can do is we can figure out what the value of f will be for each possible combination of a and b. Right? All we have to do is plug them in one at a time and see what happens. If a is 0 and b is 0, well, a prime b is going to be 1, and b prime a is going to be 1, so our output will be 1. If A is 0, is that right? Uh, yeah, or means they can be one or the other. Uh, if, <coughs> if A is 0, oh uh, no, I did that wrong. Aha. Important to be clear about this. If A is 0, then this one here, let's move this over so we can notate this whole thing. <coughs> Uh, a prime B, B prime A, and then the complete A prime B or B prime A. Here we go. If A is 0 and B is 0, then A prime is 1, B is 0, 1 and 0. Remember, and is true only if both of them are true, right? So that's 0. Same here, B is 1, or B prime is 1, but A is 0, so that means they're both 0, so that means that this is 0. That looks better. A is 0, B is 1. If A is 0, A prime is 1, B is 1, 1 and 1 is 1. That's a 0, but or them together and you get 1, right? 1 or 0 is 1. 1, 0. Well, if A is 1, A prime is 0, 0, 0 is 0. But if B is 0, B prime is 1, 1, 1 gives you 1. And again, 1. Now, if they're both 1, that's a 0, 1, which is 0. That's a 0, 1, which is 0. And we get 0, 1, 1, 0. So this is the output of that function given any possible input combination. If we don't allow anything except AND, OR, or NOT, it may be that that's the simplest we can get. But if we look at some of the other gates that we have options to, some of the gates we have access to, does this look like any of the gates from that set of 16? Well, if you look back on that video, you watch that again, what you see is that if you have one or the other, right, either B or A, but not both, this is exclusive OR. And the more you work with these, the more you'll be able to recognize this kind of stuff as you go. So this is exclusive OR. Uh, so that means that this function F is also equal to A exclusive OR B. That's a neat little recognition. So if we try some random function uh, with some random set of things, then we can use 
um, different techniques to simplify. This is one technique, is to write out every possibility and then to see if you recognize what function that is. Right? Here's another option to do that. Let's do another function with this technique. Write out all the possibilities and then look at it and recognize what it is. Let's do f equals a or a b prime. Okay? So this is a function of two variables, a and b, and here are the possible values of those variables. Again, we'll look at each term individually, and then we'll see what the completed function looks like, what each output is going to be, and then see if we can recognize what that corresponds to. Well, a is easy, 0, 0, 1, 1. a, b prime, well, if a is 0 and b is 1, uh, b is 0, then a, b is 0, 1, which is a 0, because 0 and 1 is going to give us 0. If a is 0 and b is 1, uh, then this is a 0, b becomes a 0, that's a 0. If a is 1 and b is 0, b prime becomes 1, that's a 1. And if a is 1 and b is 1, b is inverted to 0, that's a 0. So if we or those together, 0 or 0, or is true if any of the inputs is true. So this is false, this is true, and this is false. Uh, this is true, and this is true. So, this is true if there's a 1 there. These two ones mean that. A or AB prime, does that look like anything that we recognize? I kind of think it looks a bit like A. Right? It's true when A is true. It's false when A is false. So, A or AB prime is just equal to A. That's really kind of neat. Maybe we could use that later on. If we ever see A or AB prime as a component of some larger function, we can just get rid of the AB prime and put A there. So this is a neat little result uh, that we can take an expression and simplify it and discover that it's a universal simplification we can use other places. This one has a name, actually. This is called absorption. Absorption. Absorption? Absorption? Something like that. We are absorbing the AB prime into the A. Uh, and um, mathematicians have actually put together a whole list of the kind of things that we can do in a common way uh, so that simplifications like these can be easier to do. Next video, I'll show you the whole list.